welcome back to the channel. Well, guess what? Something else is messed up on the Boxster. Uh, this car, let me tell you. But it's been more reliable than my daughter's 2005 Honda Accord. Imagine that. Wait, go Porsche on that one. All right, so uh, what's wrong with this thing? Let's uh, jump in and see what's going on with it. Just a reminder guys, if you enjoy these videos, please hit that red subscribe button at the bottom, like, and share the video with your friends. I'd appreciate it. All right, so before we get started, I'm gonna use my handy dandy $20 OED2 Amazon special. And uh, uh, guys at Durametric, uh, I would love to have one of your enthusiast kits. If you send it my way, I could use it to make videos and uh, pump up uh, your marketing and advertising by telling everyone about it. So now, Back to this. Let's uh, plug in my cheap Amazon OBD2 code reader and let's find out what codes are coming up. Where are you? All right. Grab a key. And all right, let's see what it says. All right, let's look up what these codes mean and how much it's going to cost us. So if you have a drink, now's the time to have one. Let's do this. Oh, that's going to sort of help. I like Crown, so send bottles of Crown to here. All right, so in the book, diagnostic couple things. First one, 1126. And, oh, next page over. And keep going. Ah, 1126. Ah, auctions, ah, it's an 02. Short to ground, below lower limit. And then 133. 33. Okay, so. Four six one three. So O2 sensor. Interesting. So remember, we cleaned our math a while back and put it back in and it cleared up all of our troubles. So the next possible thing with those codes, this isn't clean, and those O2 sensors are saying they're dirty. Well, I think we should check for a um an intake leak, because it is popping and it is doing its thing. So let's do a smoke test. So um, let's get my smoker. Shit, I don't own a smoke machine. What the hell? Well, gotta build a smoke machine now, huh? Well, let's go do that then. All right, so now we know what's wrong with it. You know what we need to do. So let's get to building this. Okay guys, since I don't have the money to buy a smoke machine to look for this intake leak on my Boxster, uh, nor if I even bought one, I probably wouldn't use it again. So I thought, you know what, let's go out to the workshop. Let's see what we can uh, make for ourselves a little DIY project. A drill, a pin, some epoxy. No, no, not, not lunch. I don't need lunch. I, ah, pickles. Ah, pickle jar. Now, how the hell are we going to turn this into a smoke? machine hmm so all we've done is cut one end of that cap off and then cut the little tab here that goes in for your shirt pocket off and then clipped off just a little piece of the pin so we'll keep those two things and that comes out next we're going to drill a hole on this side and this side and then use the epoxy to glue in these two one end the cap end 
will go onto a uh, bicycle pump so we can pump air into it. But then this one here will be for the hose that we connect to a port on our intake to find our leak. In the middle, we'll cut a hole here and we'll drop in our um, soldering gun that will give us our smoke, which will then burn the baby oil, which will then smoke the cotton sock and we'll make smoke, but we'll show you. Let me put this all together and we'll see how well we do. Okay, so we have drilled this all in. Now we're just gonna take that epoxy, epoxy up around both the top and on the bottom. Let's get that mixed up. Okay, she's all glued in. I'll let this sit overnight and um, see how she looks in the morning. Okay, we've let that sit for a little bit. It's finally able to get over to a Harbor Freight, get a $3.99 soldering iron, got our baby oil, and don't tell the wife, but I sold one of her socks. Shh. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is take this out, measure the diameter, cut a hole into here, stick that sucker in there and epoxy that up. And then I think it'll be time to uh, fire this bad boy up and find that intake leak in our boxster. Let's do it. That screw out and pull that tip out. And then after we get it in there, reapply it. I think that might work. Let's find out. Ha, perfect. Sweet. All right, we're gonna epoxy that in, put the uh, screw and that tip back in, and I think we'll be ready to go. All right. So, all right, so now we have that all epoxy down. We're gonna give that to dry for a couple hours and we'll uh, add the sock and we'll pour in the baby oil and we'll fire this bad boy up and see how she does. Looking forward to it, the $5 Porsche smoke tester. <laughs> all right, there's our uh, tire pump. Let's go ahead and take the wife's sock and let's shove it into our uh, pickle jar here. And looks good. Baby oil time now. And we will definitely squirt them in there. And you wanna make sure we soak the sock completely. And you wanna leave about a half inch of liquid at the bottom. And as you can tell, we have this sucker uh, fired up. Let's, uh, let's see how much smoke we can make out of this real quick. Let's uh, do a little pump action here. Look at all the smoke in the jar. And here it goes. Yeah, uh, ha ha! Check that out. Hey, I have ideas for Halloween this year. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's uh, get this over to the car and let's get to working on it. Okay, so here is our smoke machine. I have it hooked up, and I pulled the inlet off of the the uh, secondary air pump and just shove it in there. I'm gonna take a towel, wrap it up. Okay, let's start uh, pumping some uh, smoke into the system and let's find out where our leak is. Take your time, have a second set of eyes and look at every connection, every hose clamp, spot on top of the motor, on the back of the motor, in the front of the motor. Keep your eyes open for little traces of smoke coming out and for us, our uh, leak was right there at the uh, throttle valve. So